Uh, I, of course, do not like making one of our teams uh, cry because they fought hard to be here, you know? Uh, Shikigami, that a rough start here, of course, uh, to their um, playoffs life. They took uh, a 3-0 loss. It was against Timers, obviously a strong team. Um, what do we know about this team? What are our expectations for this team? I mean, I think Ryan as a player, I, I was really impressed by when I saw him in OWCS most recently, who had great performances, especially on the Tracer. And although they lost 3-0 to Timeless, for my money, Timeless are probably the favorite for this tournament, right? Like, given the, the, the names we see in there, I think they're maybe the team that's most likely to win. So for Shikigami, you just gotta pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and just stay focused, because I think they do have the firepower to make a deep run in this tournament. Uh, although, of course, it will be through the lower bracket. Indeed. Yeah, which is always very tough. I mean, yeah, do or die time. Do you think uh, at this point, though, Team Z, Team Z, Jake, Team Z, Z, not Z, Team Z, not Z. Z. Do you think uh, they have uh, much of an opportunity? Because I was really impressed with Shikigami and have been uh, over the last few months. Like uh, we know WCS as well, and I think they have a lot of firepower on their roster. Do I think Timers are going to take it? Probably, but Team Z. They've been a, they've been a rather cheeky team. They've been here and there and everywhere. It feels like they've always they've always kind of skated in to uh, face it <laughs> and to OWCS. Um, the firepower compared to Shikigami, though, oh, it still feels like a night and day. Yeah, I mean, I think this will be a competitive match. Uh, you know, for for Team Z, a lot of those players recognized from the rank ladder, players who've been grinding for a long time and have kind of hit the elite level right here and face it Master League. And so be curious to see if they can make a dent. And they did go, you know, to map five versus Citrus, who as much as they're a weird team, they're an incredibly strong team as Citrus, right? As much as yes. they play a lot of the Wrecking Ball and Arissa and sort of, you know, oddball styles, they're incredibly good. You have players like Tap, who is super phenomenal on the Tracer, you know, like at a, at, at a really high level. And so to go to game five against them says to me, you do have a bit of firepower of your own to be able to fight back against a squad like that. That's right. Well, I'm interested to see what both of these squads have in store for us as they're fighting for their tournament life. Let's get this show going. Team Z taking on Shikigami right now. See, so he's on my side. It's Team Z, Jake. Come on now. Come on, a little 2v1. With the Europeans chat, coming up chat, strong we here. Know. We just work, we, we're, we're we polite know. and respectful. You see how we do that? <laughs> Demure, respectful. Yeah, okay, awful. buddy, okay. That meme died the second day it came out, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> a bit too behind the times. All right, Shikigami versus Team Z or Z, whichever which way you want to say it. Li Zhang Tower, our first map. The crazy records there. Three and eight for Shikigami. Not exactly a little bit of a foreign concept for them, I feel like, as we jump over to Control Center. I mean, it's a it's stiff competition here in facing Master League. And, and I don't think Team Z are going to go down easy. For me, I think this is, really is a 50-50 series. Uh, in terms of, you know, like raw strength of the teams, it's going to come down to who has a better read on the meta right now, which might also be difficult with no Juno in, right? People have been playing ranked. Maybe they've been scrimming a bit with Juno. Now she's not in the pool, not available for these teams in North America. And so how do they adapt to it? I think we'll see a lot of different teams uh, uh, in North America play a lot of different styles. Um, there doesn't seem to be one definitive meta by any stretch of the imagination. Round one. A little less diva than I'm used to seeing, I'm going to be honest with you. Queen again, Queen versus the Orissa. Um, aspects on the Orissa, and like we spoke about on Runasapi in the previous series. If you just spear these axes, it's pretty easy to stop Queen getting a lot of value, and a lot of staying power is lost as well. Well, the aspects are kind of getting run down at this point. Nice little bounce back here from Team Z, forcing the lamp coming through from Graveyard as they do take control of this high ground. Yeah, a lot of position here on the objective for Team Z here. Shikigami need to regroup, need to re-pressure and stop the cap with Peace. Happy to just sit here on the Genji, harass and with a free opener, could be great. You need to win the fight quickly for Shikigami. Yeah, you do. Doesn't like you're gonna either. A quick fight is not in their future. Although saying that, I'm gonna just take down uh, Hanbi. Peace surviving in the back line for as long Ooh. as possible. Oh, manages to find the kill into Ryan. Ryan had no clue where Peace was then. <laughs> Zero idea. Window comes through from Graveyard. A bit of an odd angle for that one. I don't normally see it uh, walked up like that, but all good. Shikigami also claim the point in the middle of that fight as well. So Team Zen only get 14%. Yeah, Graveyard and Noctis on Shikigami here doing a phenomenal job just keeping everyone alive through many, many situations where kills could have easily come in for Team Z, uh, and they don't because of the hard work of the supports there. So very great stabilization from Shikigami, bend but not break. Easiest rush of your life there as Aspect steps up. 
Nice little speed boost there from Noctis, getting people behind cover as the flip comes in. Blade available from Peace as well, as they try and now posture on this high ground. This high new news from Amadou. We'll see if they can get any value in. Looks like P uh, Painkill has been bit caught out just somewhat. A nice little nade there, stopping you from moving. No heals were able to actually connect. As somebody was uh, quite far away on the Kiriko. Still refusing to give this point up though. Shikigami is just struggling to find these kills. Eventually they get it after using another ultimate. Yeah, great patience from Shikigami there. And Peace, he farmed the Dragon Blade incredibly quickly, but wasn't able to deploy it on the Genji. And so now maybe some of that tempo has been lost. At the same time, big ultimates up for Team Z. A lot of aggression on the cards here. And really, only the sound barrier for defensive purposes. Noctis has to somehow find a way through a very difficult situation here on the Lucio. Bob to start off the fight, another window, second one of the round from Graveyard already, but the Sound Barrier is going to make sure they don't go instantly down. Later beat from Noctis is always going to be a better one, that Pulse Bomb, not sure what he was aiming at, but it missed. Uh, Noctis has enough falling over as that Queen Ultimate just ripping through Shikigami. Pretty tough spot for Noctis to be in, Jake. Using that Sound Barrier after Lens, but then having to deal with that Rampage. And that is the game winning, or sorry, the fight winning ultimate there for Painkiller and Team Z. Yeah, Peace is going to have an uncontested Dragon Blade here. No support ultimates to counter. Amadou still 35% away from the High Noon. Can be difficult though sometimes on the Genji, even without support. So we'll see if he can find his way through to, you know, slice and dice into the back line. Shikigami certainly aware of the threat as well. Ready to peel for not this, but you got to start something here. Oh. Peace super low. Mrs. Dash got booped into the wall, and it looks like they're just going to have to reset. Yeah, 100 HP, and oh, doesn't even make it out of there. Amadou and Aspect just uh, firing shots towards Peace, take down the Genji, and now they can push their weight onto the point. 80% is all that team's there. They're going to get at least for now. Amadou almost getting blown up there by Excal. Excal, even. As Amadou eventually takes down the Ash, it's now Shikigami's time to push the issue. Nice little deflect. How long are you going to survive? Oh, Dragon straight back in with the Terra Surge. Oh, Len didn't stand a chance. A full skull built up there from the high noon. And a nice little assist there from the Orissa. And here where it is, 85% in building. Final touch for Team Z now coming in. Yeah, Bob would be a big difference maker, but it looks like Shikigami's setting up to get super aggressive. Orissa right here holding the choke point with the rush as well. Someone's got a touch at the same time for Team Z. Very difficult situation to be in. That's just even hit Painkiller, I'm not entirely sure, but it's not going to matter in the end. There you go, a nice little team wipe. Team Z losing control, losing this first round as the point goes over to Shikigami. 100 to 80 percent. Yeah, I would have loved to see Peace maybe make a Tracer swap there, just something to secure the touch on the point and, and make that fight maybe a little bit... Uh, give you give your team a little bit more time in the fight give you give you a little bit more options to work with But they don't find it there still close first round of control. I think that could have gone either way The spear spin onto the Genji to make him miss Dash on the blade that was critical, right? I think that that blade could have been could have been big needed to be big maybe for team Z But instead it gets shut down All right next map next map Night market action. Here we go. This is where I thought I thought we'd see a lot more deal than we had done. Although to be fair, control center and a little bit more close might quarters. Not be the map, right? Just, exactly. This is uh, you know also a map where you don't have to play diva. So the fact that both teams have picked it and on a full mirror here with the echo tracer, going to be bringing a lot of pace. Very much going to be emphasis on individual deathmatch in this comp with so many ins and outs. This isn't a comp of perfection. This is a comp of confidence and aggression. I do love that new Diva sound of the Defense Matrix. Although I hate Defense Matrix right now, I'm gonna be real with you. It, um, it does sound really cool when you use it. All right, so jostling for position is sick, isn't it? Sounds cool. All right, nice little dive there on to Peace. Good peel coming through from Team Says backline there, making sure that you don't get instantly blown up. Pretty scary. Uh, Scary character. Oh, uh, oh dear. <laughs> no, was that Sticky Bombs on Ryan that killed Amadou? <laughs> okay, my bad. I think he might have gotten the Tracer anyway. You know, Amadou wasn't moving. You can't, you can't always blame your Echo, you know, as long as it's the Tracer's fault. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Nice little cat there from Team Z to start us off with. Yeah, and Painkiller has been standing really strong here in the front line. The team has been keeping his armor on really well, and so far Aspect has struggled to really make a dent in this confident positioning, playing way out in the open. 
Need to find something. Another dive straight to the back line, but the counter dive is perfect. Shigami forcing it very hard, but with the rush as well. Maybe that's enough, just coming over the top. Yeah, the map. The rush is going to be good for one kill at least. Ryan finds up another one with the uh, army going down. 47% of building here for Team Z. Angle, you even using that self destruct on what seems to be like a lost fight, but the kill onto Ryan now. And a remake coming in here. Team Z are going to be able to keep themselves in this fight. And looking at hunting for this Tracer who's forced to recall, but here come the reinforcements. This isn't a clean fight for Shikigami here. So Team Z, they can just uh, chill. Yeah, they can fight. They can hang out. Self as well, buys time, but. Teams doesn't matter how many ults. I think they're in a great spot here. First copy comes in from nice. Ryan. Nice E, Pulse Bomb, and uh, duplication from Peace. I mean, they're extending this into a final fight here. We're not just using the sound barrier. Same with Len. Team Z, they do end up losing Excal here. But uh, the problem is, these fights, once again, are not clean. Like, a duplication self-destruct, and now a body blast, a straight kill onto Ryan. It goes down to the self-destruct somehow as Peace keeps themselves alive on or near the point. And uh, Minipack is going to be a great use to that Echo right now. And Team Z extend that from a 60% lead all the way to 96%. A messy, messy long team fight. But it worked out for them in the end. It's now Shikigami only just gaining control of that point. Yeah, it comes down to the pickoffs, but already Team Z, you know, I love this position from Excal, threatening the flanks, right? Trying to corral the enemy team into that back point position where they can hold, but, you know, you don't want to give up this much map control. Seems like you have to for Shikigami. They have no real choice. Painkiller tries to get aggressive here. Probably going to need to get healed. Oh, what a massive stick. Straight onto Ryan, Excal with one kill. 4v5 now on the point with a rush coming up soon for Team Z as well, but they might not even need it to be fair. Graveyard going down at a crucial of a moment too. Only 8% towards theirs. I mean, the rush is normally good for a complete fight, especially when you're fighting on the point. Team Z just roll over Shikigami there after an exceptional pulse bomb kill from Excal. I mean, that was night and day from round one. Team Z looks so strong on this scrappy, you know, highly mobile style with a lot of opportunity for individual playmaking. They're moving confidently, they're playing aggressively. Uh, and I think against the Orisa, they weren't able to do that. Against the Baptiste, they weren't able to do that. But now in a, in a mirror match comp, they look drastically stronger. For Shikigami, I would think this is a comfortable comp for them as well. But with Amadou being, seems to be at his best on hitscan, maybe, maybe that's a bit of a, a challenge for them here. Yeah, we'll see if uh, either one of them wants to stray over to Ash or a Cassidy. Pretty doable on this map. A tough call but... though. In this comp with the Lucio Kiri Diva, good luck. Again, again. Good luck. You can you can run down like a like a, you're a blade of grass in front of the lawnmower. Doable, but not advised. Yeah, same kind of comps here. Both mirroring the Echo Tracer with the Kiri. Everybody just set up at the same push as well. It looks like the beginning of a chess match. Everybody exactly in the same positions, just opposite. Completely mirrored across the board. Did Ryan and Amadou roll swap this round to, to put Ryan on the Tracer? Yes. Uh, mix it up. All right, Ryan. Ryan looked at, at their best on Tracer previously. Already wins the 1v1, forces recall early. Oh, Lane goes down to Aspect. All right, there's the point from Shikigami. Nice stuff. Good, uh, good start here. The roll swap looking good so far, although not sure it was exactly to do with the roll swap there, but Ryan still forcing that recall into Excal is uh, looking pretty good. I mean, Ryan did win that Tracer 1v1, and Excal was a super strong Tracer last round. Have to see if Ryan can make a bit of a difference here, as the team does seem a little bit more confident with these players on these rolls. All right, now White Room attack here from Team Z. Such a hard point to take as well. The central column is so annoying around not even yeah. just the column the little like walls that are attached to the column it's real tough oh and len going down too yeah you trade but losing a support is not good shikigami they lose ryan but ryan will back in just a moment here comes the rush first ult used by a graveyard and uh, team z don't want any of that smoke instantly backing up you need to get kills here though right just forcing the reset I don't think it's enough, and it's a beautiful rotation by Team Z. They flip the map, come in from the left with a rush of their own, right onto the objective this time. And this could Most be just what they need now. Yeah, I mean, look, you got a duplication onto the Diva as well. Shikigami wanting to stay in this fight and not get this point over. You can see both Divas using Matrix there, so no one is able to do anything. All right, Amadou also receives that sound barrier. 
This should be an easy roll over the back line. Lin, oh, sound barriers manages to get off. Almost got booted off the edge. Peace of the night, East on the post bomb, but they've already lost Graveyard. A self destruct thrown onto the points. No kills. It's all good. You're just a dupe echo anyway. Aspect super low on the pilot Diva as Team Zed. They get control. 70% on the ball for Shikigami, though. Not only do they get control, though, but they drain the ultimates out, which I think crucially is going to favor them as the new point defenders. Being that it's such a hard point to retake, you need ultimates to sometimes open up the map, inject a little bit of chaos into the position, and reduce the defender's advantage. Without ultimates, it's going to be a tough task. It's really going to be heavy, I think, on Tracer on the point. Can you win a 1v1 and just create some advantage somewhere on the map? Otherwise, you might just be stuck building ults here, which would really hurt with the enemy team in control. Lolo. Only self destructs available now for both teams. As Painkiller tries to make a move onto the bridge. A boop kill from Noctis. Excal maybe just booping his head around the corner there. Just gets instantly killed. Oh, and a fantastic return boot from Len. Moving Noctis straight into that self destruct. They've already lost peace. They got all damage left. And that was all about Painkiller just trying to stay on the point for as long as humanly possible to get as much percentage out. It's not looking clean, though, as they're able to make a quick re-engage, unable to touch the point, so we'll end up getting flipped. The Shikigami now in control, and with a rush from Team Zeds, this could be all over here, unless Graveyard can manage to stay alive. Looks like they're able to, and White Room recoil slightly, as now Team Zed are in trouble. A post one from Ryan, could get a, a nice little connection here, but still has to weep past this defense matrix. Finds a lacking Lucio there in the back line, but then dodges out of the way the pulse. Yeah, Noctis coming up on their own sound barrier, though. This could be threatening both teams charging up that beat. See if Peace can make any kind of difference here with the copy, but maybe just wants to stay on that Echo Farm as we are potentially going to be in a long overtime fight here on yeah, one of the most notorious said. overtime maps in the game. Yeah, here come the sound barriers from both sides, as well as that duplication like you spoke about from Peace. Although Armadou was able to uh, build up to one of their own. And it's a D-Meg there onto Peace's mech. It's just all copies, all Diva mechs, but a self-destruct kill onto Graveyard of all people. That could be it. Shikigami with no Kiriko healing now. Team said she should just be able to run over them. Shikigami at 99% aren't able to hold on. And there it is, fight one, and the flip comes in. Yeah, late kills as well. It's going to be final fight here for both teams, as Shikigami coming for another retake. Last time, Excal maybe tried to do a little too much, got picked off going for a play by the enemy Lucio. I wonder now, if, if he doesn't make the same mistake again, how do you get into this on Shikigami, right? How do you open up the situation that teams you have full control? I will see the trying to push over the bridge. Like you said, final fight. The rush advantage too. Do they want to go early with this one? That is the question. It's all been about these rushes. Who uses theirs last? Who can survive that initial burst of damage and healing? TP. Rush comes in. Both sides, both using at the same time this time. But <laughs> Len just blows up. Instantly taken down. Same with Humbe too. Support set for Team Zed. And that's it. No coming back from this one. You're going to have to hope for a miracle pulse bomb here, but it just connects with the mech of Aspect, and that armor is going to shrug that one off. Another nice connection there from Ryan as the self-destruct is used to try and get the remake. But Noctis easily finish off with the Pilot Diva with the boop. Shikigami putting one on the board as they just deal with the final few staggers, and there it is. That one is theirs. And, and twice that round, from my perspective, Shikigami are in a rough spot, retaking into a, into a well-set-up defensive position, and they just find somebody, you know, caught slipping from Team Z, right? First, it's Excal, then it's Len. I mean, these are critical, crucial characters. You can't afford to be losing, at least not at the start of the fight like that before the ultimates really get rolling. And so a couple mistakes here from Team C get heavily punished and ultimately they lose a map that I thought they'd win, right? I thought they had multiple chances there to, to take that one away. They're going to be kicking themselves for that. See if they can bring it back here as we go to our next map on King's Row. Little King's Row. What do you kind of expect uh, we're going to see here from the comps? Ooh, King's Row is interesting because I really feel that you can play any style you want as a team. You, you can play the dive, you can play the rush, you know, you can play poke even. Like, I, we, I really think it truly can all work on King's Row. So King's Row in many ways is like a litmus test of what do you want to play as a team? What, it, what is your identity as a team since it really is such an open map? Um, I think dive is probably the strongest style right now from what I've seen that, you know, vertical mobility is just very valuable on the map. So I would expect may maybe something like we saw on the last map, but for me, the Lucio Kiri maybe is a little unnecessary. Something like the Ana Brig has seemed stronger. However, NA, I think a lot of teams like playing this, this high paced style with the Lucio Kiri, maybe preferring it over the Ana Brig. Um, so, regardless of what I think, ooh, that was a nasty stick.
We'll have yeah, to see, really nice see their identities come out on King's Row. I, I think it's a great map to see early in the series. You get to learn a little bit more about these teams. Yeah, I think King's, is all, King's has always been a, a map you can play a large variety on, especially in the meta we have right now, which is very open book. There's not too much that can't be played. We've seen a little bit of Rissa, a little bit of Queen, Ram. Okay, Ryan we've not seen, but and Hog to be fair, but... That's sick it's, a monster. Like, slipping past the enemy diva like that, very small window to make that play happen. They do. Yeah, there's the pickoffs you were talking about too. Just losing a, a Lucio Tracer that early on. And this is, is the one that just good. is pretty rough, right? Like, what is Len doing there in the corner? Yeah, I, uh, it looked maybe, like maybe uh, Len was into the wall dive, riding in. Yeah, 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 it looked like Len was wall riding in, trying to get on top of them. But yeah, it's as soon as you hit those rushes, like that Lucio is nowhere to go, despite the increased movement speed. I mean, this is some of that change from Lucio, right? Losing a little bit of HP, doing getting a big buff to his gun damage. I think most people looked at that and was like, this is a big buff. Like, he does so much more damage, charges the beat faster. And, and I stand by that. However, there's less margin for error on the character, right? If you're going to get in there and right. mix it up, that 25 HP doesn't seem big, but it can make a huge difference when it comes to, like, do you live to get the Suzu off, right? That, that little half second makes a world of difference. Yeah, big difference uh, in that small change. Yeah, Kings Row up next. I would love to see some Rhyme, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I love a know. classic Rhyme mirror on Kings Row. Yeah. Imagine just a, a just world a, we go to that. Throw it back, baby. Honor duel. I think Rhyme is pretty terrible on Kings Row in, in this game. Yeah. Maps, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, come on now. We'll see. Come Maybe on. they'll play Rhyme, Jack. Why, you got Maybe. I mean, I'm not in. I'd love it. I'd love to see it. Jack doesn't is it going to happen? Play Ryan. Jack's messaging me saying, don't play Ryan. Don't play Ryan, guys. And all no, the fans want to see Ryan, and Jack's like, I want to see Diva just Jack, annihilate a backline instantly. Diva. Like, don't play any other characters. That's all I want to yeah. see. That's, <laughs> that's what we tell them, guys. <laughs> Somebody's been telling me for the last like two weeks, just, you know, just just walk around the Diva, bro. How can I walk around the Diva, bro? She eats all of my play bullets. Play Brig, play Brig. I saw it for you. Play Brig or Lucio. Okay, okay. Your heroes are not allowed. The heroes you like to play are not allowed. In the, the heroes I play denied from uh, the meta right now, or at least uh, the way I play them. Yep. Yeah, uh, King's Row is going to be the map up next. Shikigami uh, coming up big with a win on that, that first one. Well, probably, well, actually, didn't we see some hog earlier too? I believe we did in EU, so anything is possible. Little um, hoggers, poggers, thoughts? Thoughts on that? Little hog, maybe. I'm Looks like Anion's coming in uh, for Shikigami. That is definitely phonetically how you say the name. <laughs> that is uh, not how the name is normally written in the server, but Anion coming in for Shikigami. Yeah, I'm curious if this signals maybe a, a transition to like a double flex support style, which for me would signal maybe a bit of poke on the cards here. Kings Row, I think very doable actually to run the double flex support. And actually it's something I quite like. You know, it, it takes a little bit more preparation as a team. You got to come in and think, okay, we don't have the mobility to really play chaotically. So who's going to be where and where are the heels going to come from? Where Where's everyone positioning to keep map control? But if you go to all that effort and you, you get it all you know, dialed in right. Sometimes on King's Row, these like high grounds have the supports all across the high ground, damage coming from all sides, tank holding the point. These can be really difficult setups to break in the moment, especially, you know, you, you prep this for a match, you come in, the other team doesn't know exactly what you're gonna do and you've got some well-prepped pocket strat. This could be a great way for Shikigami to go up 2-0, but they could also get caught, you know, if, if they're too committed in the double flex support and uh, Team Z brings the high pace as they've shown they can, I think this match could absolutely go either way. All right, let's have a little look then. Six and five record for Team Z versus Shikigami's three and eight. A very close affair so far. In the lower bracket, loser here goes home. The loser, uh, the winner, sorry, will advance all the way through. And you're hoping you can make a nice little bracket, lower bracket run. It's always a like a fairy tale dream to get knocked out first round, then make it all the way. It's uh, definitely what, definitely what these kind of uh, formats are made for. Is those are crazy runs? Looks like Shikigami. Any and on the honor, definitely An honorable uh, honor brig Winston. Yeah, that, there's integrity in this comp. This is this good salt to the earth composition in Overwatch here, baby. Definitely, yeah, definitely Onion's best hero as well. I mean, this is this is just a classic. You know, it would be more classic if they were playing the Rhine. That would be even more classic. That would be pure salt of the earth, like vintage Overwatch. Let's get a quicker Team Z listening though, because they look like they want to run Queen first. Because yeah. if you guys play so top, I can even get a rotate around and go under them. Yeah, have monkey. I, I yeah, just found monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, break, break. I got gotcha, you, Monkey's top right. Yeah, oh, I can get under them. I can get under them. I'm in monkey. Three, two, one. 
Oh, I do yeah, I'm under them, I'm under them right now. Shoot him again, shoot him again, shoot him again. Yeah, just shoot him. I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Oh, nice. What? Look lucky, look lucky, look lucky, look lucky. Nice, nice. Can we go point? I want to from here, I want to need to Back bottom left, back bottom left, back to left. Back time, bottom left right now. I want to need left side, okay? I know, I know. I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Two, one. Big, 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 big. Ash one, ash one, ash one. Ash one, ash one, ash one. I'm gonna mark Trey. Yeah. They have Diva now. Right here. Yeah, yeah, Diva. No more ones. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna stop. I'm okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, I need pack. Shut out, shut out. No pack, no pack. We need to shoot Diva together. Yeah, I'm gonna walk. So I'm marking point. They're looking me hard, they're looking me hard. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. I think you need to go there on a piece, because they're on just sat top right the whole time, even when their team is out. Okay, uh, they're close pulse, close bob, close nano. Uh, I'm gonna go Winston though. Alright, only 62%, almost got that second tick there. Um, as Shikigami make a quick swap to the D.Va and Team Z as well, deciding no more Queen. They were too risky, especially with Anion. Having free reign over the back line here. Yeah, Anion's nades were really painful in that first fight, right? Like, constantly forcing the Queen back, denying her opportunities to get aggressive. Nade comes in a little high there from Hanbei. I think sailed right through the window past Anian. And look at this great setup. I mean, allowing the enemy to touch the point, sure. Maybe giving up some progress, whatever. But Shikigami, great position from the backliners, keeping that threat in on the enemy team. Nade onto Ryan, but it's a tracer. She's happy to just recall that pressure off. And they're turning onto the Winston, who does need the nano just to stay alive. Oh, the pole, the column saved, the Ana then. Unfortunate stick by Ryan goes wide. Good nano boost as uh, Painkiller was under a lot of trouble. Ryan actually receiving the nano coming through from uh, <laughs> Anion. Taking Myers into their own hands, especially with this baby diva. It's probably the best target for it. Still trying to fight over this single last percent. Looks like he's are going to eventually go. There it is. What a cut. We just cut to the far as she instantly vaporizes the diva. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think that Nano Tracer maybe needed to come in. Anion was bubble blocked by Painkiller. Great bubble, by the way. You know, blocks those heals to the Tracer. Only the Nano can come through to contest that point, but just not quite enough with your tank, you know, desuited. And Team Z, on a break, starting to get a little bit of, of pace into this map, and Peace keeping the far, even into the Diva, even into the Ash. And for me, this is actually a pretty solid far map with a lot of these uh, rooftops on second point. You can kind of slip over with a barrage. Aspect is going to have to keep his head on a swivel to, to, to uh, shut down peace. Raj, sometimes a little bit tough to get off, but yeah, like you said, hiding around these corners is going to be quite nice. These high ceilings. Aspect has to get out of there. Oh, that is an early rally coming through from Len. Looks like they found an opening, though. His Aspect has uh, dropped to the floor and easily cleaned up by peace. Self-destruct finds absolutely nothing. Ob has been deployed by Shikigami as they kind of flip side to this point, Jake. Oh. But now the barrage. Oh, it was an easy one. A nice little reactive sleep there by Anion, but unfortunately, the missiles are already flying through the air and she met her demise. He was there with a nice push here onto second point. Three minutes to go, and they're running this final little corner for it. Ah, man, it's going to be tight. Do you recontest this? I think you might be able to get a touch, but Ryan is just respawning now, and Tracer is really the one you want burn to send in first. Bro. This is very risky, but Shikigami may feel the pressure with how great Team Z's offense has already gone. You may need to force this fight. Stick comes oh, in. Oh, the loss. rally, not enough. Good pulse bomb, better bubble. Uh, yeah, no healing for the Winston. Excel doesn't look getting bashed here. Little sun coming in. They gotta find it. They gotta find a kill though. Primal Rage, they've got the Nano Boost. Team Z in a good spot to take this point. And there it is, Jake. Even that pulse bomb from Ryan just easily blocked by Len. Yeah, it was great by Len. Not only blocked the pulse, but dropped it off the shield. As they don't see that so much anymore, being that there's a bit of risk involved. But Len, great job on the break, right? Very, very stable. Making up for some of the, the mistakes on that first round of Li Chang. And now, Team Z at a solid pace on a third point, but it'd all be kind of for nothing, I think, if they get held here. You've got to keep this game rolling. Excal makes the swap over to the Ash, so we'll see if Amadou wants to take that mirror or, or likes to keep Echo, especially with that copy on 70%. Great scene, Nade hits the high ground there, but no one is up there for Shik Agami. Nano for both sides as well. And this is where the Ash is, can pay dividends, but the issue is getting an angle here, especially against all the spam from the Echo and Ryan just being a little pesky menace in the sidelines. It'll be rather tough. Nanabu Sin for both Winston's. Aspect just uh, zoning the enemy team right now. Nice little couple of shots there onto Peace. The right clicks are hitting. 
but uh, no other damage has already been dealt. No other uh, kills can be followed up with. How much just copies the armor on high ground? I really love that play. If you can get a free nano too, it can be just a, a fight ender. Excal, can they get Ooh. away? No, Painkiller actually is the one that goes down. As Team said, even use that rally to keep them in that fight, Jake. It's, you're gonna get no space from it. Yeah, Shikigami players dropping low, but no one actually dies. Great work by the supports to keep everyone stable. Now Len goes down to the biotic grenade from Anion, and finally Shikigami are gonna get that decisive defensive team fight that they've been looking for, a solid cleanup. Team Z, no map control, gonna have to retake from square one, essentially. And so far, they haven't really found the way forward, even though I think Len has been doing a great job on the break, right? Every Winston jump is getting booped. Every, everyone who needs it is getting packs, but still, Shikigami are finding kills through that amazing defensive support play. Oh, Storm in the back pocket of Ryan. Nade hits, hits the back line too, perfect targets. Oh, Hanbei did not stand a chance. Nothing Len could have done there apart from maybe whip shot the Winston, but with the Primal Rage, yeah, good luck. Good luck. A minute and 40 seconds to go. Three ultimates still available from Shikigami. Slow, patient gameplay right now, holding this payload where it is. Yeah, and I'm showing why they put her in to play this honor, right? Like those effective, it's not the nades on your own teammates. Anyone can do that. It's the nades on the enemy backline. That's the critical skill of these Ana players. The reason you, you come in and play Ana is to nade the enemy backline. Is this time, connection on the only Noctis. Amadou ends up going down though instantly. This Talibus isn't going to be able to find anything. Ends up splitting off the supports once again. Postman from Ryan goes wide. This backline from Team Zed. Unless they're getting naded, they're uh, just immortal. I think Only Len blocked go. another pulse there. I mean, Len is really dominating on the break this round. Like, really consistent, stable play. Sure, you don't see her in the kill feed, but that's exactly what you want out of your brig. A nade onto Noctis as well. It's going to force them back. Maybe have to early rally just to get out of the spawn. The Nano Primal is not Primal. necessarily enough. Oh, yeah, Primal Rage available from <laughs> Painkiller too. He's just holding the door. Let Annie and Noctis get out. There's the rally. Here's the bash. There's the Primal straight into the spawn again. Beautiful nade. Annie and Noctis glowing a bright purple. There's only one person on the point right now for Shikigami to try and get some contest. 27 seconds in the time bank. I mean, Jake, their game against uh, Team Zed against Shikigami in the group stage was a close affair too. Went all the way to five maps. Even played Kings as well. It was a a 4-3 uh, to Team Z in the very end, so it's looking like it might uh, might be the same. Again, history may be repeating itself. Yeah, so far I think two very closely matched teams. You know, for me, supports on both squads having big games, right? Anian finding big nades, but the nades are, are coming right back the other direction from Hanbei. And then Len on the break blocked two pulse bombs that I've seen, very consistent boops on the enemy Winston nano jump. I mean, crucial stability you need in this comp, right? You know, it seemed like small things, but you miss one whip shot on that jumping Winston, you're just dead. Like you're, you're dead and probably your whole team is dead actually from that one skill missing. And so the stability on the brig is crucial. Len is providing that. It's gonna be a diva defense for Team Z, which I don't mind on the defense on first point especially where you just need that anchor who can stand and hold the objective and just endure. The Venture though is a lot more surprising. So they might end up going for maybe like a very aggressive hold with Venture holding one of these close corners. So a little peek. Yeah, the venture on this map is kind of annoying. Just a venture play style of just good, hiding good on map. the corner. Good map for venture, right? Especially with Amadou yeah. being a player who like prefers playing hit scan. I think it, it you normally I think you'd want to go in Echo or Far to deal with the venture, and so this might force Amadou off their comfort zone. Well, they're gonna realize the ventures picked in a couple of moments. The question is. Where do they think the venture's hiding? Well, it doesn't look like actually they're hiding too much there. So it looks like they're going to take top left. Yeah, going to fight the tracer. I mean, that's a big strength of venture. You can be in these wide off angles. And even if Winston does jump on you, you just burrow your way out of there. And a nade onto Aspect as well is going to force him back. See if that's... Nah, it doesn't really turn into anything, though. A little bit of time out of damage. I'm surprised that Len didn't block that, but... Maybe just too powerful. There's the venture. Hits the burrow. He's out of there. You can see uh, Amadou not worried about dealing with Venture anymore. At least they know there's no real exit strategy. Well, they're Painkiller and Len going super Everyone's low. So they're just low. getting poked out right now. There's a uh, Shikigami just winning this uh, poke trade duel. Here comes the first tick at the very uh, least. And uh, Len's in trouble. One HP in a dream. Not going to happen. Humby's also incredibly low as the Venture tries to make 
uh, work of a, a back line that was a little bit more preoccupied of healing the front line in, in aspect. But this dynamite damage, yeah. Armadouf claims two, and Shikigami just rolling over teams out there. Yeah, I mean, the classic Ash Tracer, right? If you do slip up against this comp, if they put you on the back foot, they keep you there. They keep the pressure on, where I feel the Venture Farah, you kind of have to, like, pop off, get a kill, and then snowball it, right? You know, like, once you fall behind, very hard to clutch and come back without, like, an obvious resetting skill, um, you know, like Tracer's Recall. We'll see if, if the Farah Venture looks better on second. I think Farah definitely is going to have a little bit, a little bit of an easier time connecting to the back line um, with the rooftops, with a little bit more map geometry. But whoa, okay, oh, Ryan got uh, shut down yeah. by Xcal. No good. Then he comes in, actually hits the Bob. Armadou doing a good job of, <laughs> well, Armadou's Bob doing a good job of tanking the nade there from Ambi. All right, I mean. Look, Team Zen are in a decent spot, Jake. I mean, you can hold this corner. You're, you're pretty chilling yes. as the venture. Tectonic very... Shock, you feel good. Big advantage on the rally charge. Aspect as well, getting the nano in. Peace, oh, massive. Barrage. Unbelievable way to open this one up. Team Zed's DPS there. Both Excal and Peace coming up with some big kills. That barrage was ridiculous. Didn't know what hit him. And again, it knocked it straight back to spawn. And they even lose the nano in that fight, too. Oh, and the Primal Rage as well. That is. Not a good start. It does force a defensive nano onto Len, so you've got something to write home about. Shikigami, the, you know, not cowed by that. They're gonna get right back into the mix. Tectonic shot shot's so strong dead. in this corridor, though. Good luck, buddy. Aspect dead. No more tectonic shock, but it's just so good. They're just so sick on this exact like situation, right, with the payload uh, in this choke point. The diva swap is gonna come out for Aspect. Maybe just needing a, a better answer for the far. See if Ryan oh, creates a great start in the 1v1. Yeah, for me it's a little bit of go both ways. Is already skills oh, for us. See if Ryan can get that kill. Beautiful play there by Ryan, just completely dominating Excal in the 1v1. And that rally is going to end the fight too. That was really well played. Forcing the venture, and you saw Excal try to go for the shot there. The left click into the drill dash, into the melee to try and kill the tracer. But yeah, he just got rinsed by Ryan. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a very co competitive 1v1 where, you know, like either player, like the Venture can definitely burst the Tracer down, but if the Tracer just lives through those skills, she's probably going to win the duel. Uh, and now Excal going to go back over to the Tracer, you know, wanting to just get across these open spaces, especially with Amadou on the Echo. Much harder hero to connect to compared to one of those slower hit scans. Nice on the Tracer. Besides, uh, if you can do it, I want to do it too. No more messing around with the Venture pick, especially as the map's like open up a little bit here. Aspect is one. Are they going to be able to get the DMEC? Yes, they are. Beautiful stuff there from Excal and the rest of the gang. Look at that. All the assists coming through. Everybody shooting in the back at the same time, despite the defense matrix. And this could be bad. They're going to dive forward. Yeah. Nate under Noctis. Aspect is well dying. Yeah, trying to overstay their welcome there with the baby diva, you know, and, and wisely, Team Z gets super aggressive. They, you know, they reset the skills and then they just come right back in. No diva to deal with. Well, no, no diva mech. Only the pilot, who is decidedly less threatening than the 700 and HP Titan normally on the who server. Who decided that, huh? That's crazy. Who decided the pilot diva was uh, less scary? What about the remake? I, I'm so sorry. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot about the power of the remake. The power of the remake. We've seen one kill today already. Just think about that one for a minute. Barrage available from peace. Just playing this rooftop. So hard to deal with, too. Mm, I mean, you spot. send Armadou after them, and sure, but you're just going to get blown up, and you're able to just duck behind cover so easily, and then even Painkiller can come in with a defense matrix. And a boost on to the far by the looks of it, though. Taking Ooh. the door of the skies. Nice little comp there, straight on top of the Echo. And now the Barrage into the back line. A good sleep, but damage is done. Peace claims yet another double kill with the Barrage. And with only a minute to go, Jake, this is not looking good for Shikigami. Team Zed just have this map on lock. That was a nasty fight out of Peace. Gets the counter nano. Not only does he force the copy, puts another nano rocket on her and just leaves her for somebody else to clean up and then goes in to finish off the back line himself on the borrow. Really well played there. And Amadou gonna go back to his tried and true hit scan. The Cassidy could make magic happen, but they are going up against a rally from Len who could pull the trigger at any moment here. Yeah, they gotta be wary. Their rally's not up for another 20% here. So if they hear that rally come and then they're gonna need to back off. Amadou uh, taking a bit more of an aggressive angle or forcefully done as uh, Peace did end up booping him into the front line. 
25 seconds to go. We're asleep on the break. I think it woke up pretty swiftly. Noctis gonna have a rally of their own as well to match this trade, so we should see a, a more chaotic rally trade fight. If any rally, far could be in trouble. Oh my god, Noctis going in there. A little bit too deep, maybe. Nice little double bash there onto Aspect and Noctis as they do end up recalling back to the points. Everybody with a lot of overhealth and the brig with a lot of extra armor there on Team Z as they try and make their way into the fight. And yes, there it is. Noctis once again. Just ends up going down, picked off. Even Ryan forced a recall before they can even get a pulse. Oh, a beautiful connection. Does end up taking down the Arna, but I think that's about it. Yeah, Team Z gonna hold them on second. A little salute there from Peace. He's had a hell of a game so far. They tie the series up. Peace on the Fara really impressed me that game, right? Like a couple of huge team fights that, you know, the barrage, think back to that barrage at the second point choke that gets both supports. And then that fight, I mean, getting the counter nano and still having the wherewithal to not be tunneled on that far duel. Like for me, I would have gone for that echo. I would have died fighting that far. Like no matter what, keep chasing that. But he has the presence of mind to realize, hey, you know what? I, you put all these resources into the dive onto me. I've got the nano and I'm going to finish that nano by getting on your backline with the barrage. I'm not going to stay into the scrappy backline engagement. I'm going to go get my own kills on your supports. And that awareness gets them the fight win there and, and arguably secures the map. I want to shout out Len as well, because we did criticize him on, on the control round. I think he made a few mistakes in the Lucio. On the Brig looked very, very solid though, like doing their job perfectly every time. Very, very hard for even a player like Ryan, who's been a solid tracer, just can't find those stick connections through the shield. Yeah, Ryan, I think has been a, a standout player for quite a while on Shikigami to be fair, but yeah, unable to get the job done. Rudasabi is the map up next. Seen a, little, a lot of variance so far in, in terms of the comps. So we'll have to see if there's uh, any more of that. Maybe we'll go back to a little bit more Faro. Maybe long range hit scan. We'll have to wait and see. Here are some highlights from that last map. Yeah, Pieces Barrage was so sick in this game. Nice sleeves from Anion, but they were just. It's so tough when the Faro is that close to the ground, too, because it's just an in skill. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. You, like, you sleep for about doesn't as matter fast what you as do, you could, but it, it you know, doesn't matter. 0.1 seconds of Barrage, you already got directed. This, this door hold from Painkiller was actually savage. Just absolutely not allowing them to play the game. Yeah, look good so far. One apiece. Here we go. See if uh, Team Z end up losing this one because when they're in their match in the group stages, it was Shikigami taking Runasapi. Uh, we'll see if that is going to be the same situation. Rather close series regardless. Maybe another map number five on our hands. Um, we'll have to wait and see. That first that first match that we had, at least in e, uh, in NA, was, it was a little bit more one-sided than I think a lot of people expected or uh, even wanted, right? But this one looking way closer. Yeah, I think two evenly matched teams here. Gonna have to slug it out. Curious what they'll do on Runasapi, another map that I think is a little bit hard to pin down. People, I've seen, we've seen Rush, we've seen Dive. Uh, very different styles from a lot of different squads. Yeah, um, more far, more echo maybe. Going out from peace. I'm not a huge fan of the flyers on Runasapi, but we'll see. Man, I mean, I think Peace made the far look really good here on Kings Row second, like very, very solid. Even into the echo, which in the past I would have called a counter matchup, but the more time goes on, the more I think the far can can hold her own in that matchup. You know, kiting the echo when she was her flight, and then having the opportunity to re-engage, forcing that echo to go first because far generally just has better spam damage. Uh, you know, they, they played the matchup well and showed that it absolutely can go either way. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Runasapi is going to be the uh, map up next. That'll be uh, loading in in a couple of minutes. Then we're going on to a little bit, you know, a little bit of something different, a little flashpoint. We're actually going to see a fourth map. Let's go. And hey, having closer games. Lower bracket game as well. So loser here is eliminated. And the winner will end up advancing, facing the loser of the uh, quarters up in, or semi, sorry, up in the winner's bracket, which we'll, we'll update you as uh, we go throughout the show. But yeah, Runasapi. I want to see, you know what? If there's a map you're going to play Ryan on, just play Runasapi, bro. You could even do no shield challenge if you want. I mean, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, Anion's also taking the back seat for this one. So no Arna here. So Graveyard back in. Probably going to be more Kiriko action. So again, like you mentioned, Jay, like they want to go fast. And a classically, hey, we're not going to play Arna Brig, Lucio Kiri, name of the game, run at your back line, hopefully get some uh, nice little kunais as well. That's what, uh, that's what's signaling to me at the very least. 
Yeah, and Lucio's poke pressure on a map like Winnesopi is actually not insignificant, you know, like spamming those little Cheerios across the map. There's a lot of those, you know, like not stalemates, but just spots for the game to slow down on Winnesopi where I feel Lucio can actually do pretty decent poke pressure. And sometimes as a brig, you might feel, hey, what am I doing here? I'm just kind of waiting for something to happen. And Lucio's farming up his sound barrier. So I don't hate the idea to go back to, to a Lucio Curie or Lucio Baptiste based look uh, for either squad, Frank. Oh, I'd like to see some Circuit Royale. Uh, thinking back to OWCS, just uh, not like, what, not even a month ago, insane Widowmaker battles from both EU and NA. Like, it was just ridiculous. It felt like the finals or the, the main event, sorry, for OWCS was all dictated on the Widow battles. So, yeah, hopefully we uh, end up in a map number five, but we'll have to get rid of the first next couple of maps uh, as well. We'll see if uh, Team Z can round this one out. Circuit Royale was taken by Team Z, by the way, in the face of group match. It was a three and two. So maybe we do go all the way. Rudasapi, though, is the map. Let's get into this. You know, Jack, I love casting competitive Overwatch because I get to hear the map music for the first time. And this so one goes true. hard. Oh, yeah, I like, can't believe it. Kind of like a pan flute vibe. We were chilling before uh, we came on. Obviously, we started pretty late, so we were vibing for a little while. And Jake's like, wow, I've never noticed, like, the the didgeridoo kind of thing from Junkertown. I'm like, I think it's like, yeah, that's been in the game or, or throat singing or something. Yeah, it's like, that's been in the game since the game launched, bro. <laughs> like, I don't, I play with music on zero. I hate fun, you know. If he could, he would play on like uh, Team Fortress 2, like CP flat textures, bro. Like flat textures. Everything is just, there's no color. It's only gray and the enemy models are red. Like that would be it. It's like, going to be a JQ mirror. As... I am shocked by this. JQ mirror comes out here on Runasati. And it's Sojourn as well for Xcal. I It's such a fun hero to watch. I'm excited to see what Sojourn can, can make work here. But. Shikigami with a more conventional Tracer Echo can punish something like the Genji very hard. Oh, big headshot! Nice aspect with Nice received that uh, Suzu to stay alive. Another nice headshot from Xcal too. Wow, yeah, the overwhelming amount of damage from the Sojourn really paying off there for Team Z. Yeah, great job from Xcal, right? That early headshot rail onto Aspect it too. forces the Suzu, forces the Queen out of the fight, and they just snowball from there. And, and I mean, that's the nature of this, this Sojourn Genji Queen style where if you get ahead, you quickly, you know, scoop up kills, snowball the fight, and, and you absolutely explode the other team. But if you don't get ahead early, if you fall behind, very hard for characters like Genji to make a comeback in the engagement. So Shikigami, it's gonna be all about these early trades, moment to moment. But Xcal, if he keeps landing these rails, this could be a tough match. Yeah, Armadou has to be a little bit careful too. 120, uh, sorry, 225 HP now. Echo did receive that health nerf in that previous patch. Slowly chunking away. I mean, this is the real difference maker. Will be with this duplication. I mean, you just got to do it. You can do the queen double shell. Be kind of nasty. Aspect going so low again and receives another Suzu. Might be time to strike here for Team Z. Have to use the Suzu of their own, but there you go. There's the first kill. Exactly the target I was talking about as well. Xcal just dominating Amadou. And now we fight over, and that's checkpoint as well. Yeah, snowballing with the Kiri ultimate. It's going to get them the checkpoint. So far, so good for Team Z, but I think this is pretty much what you expect. You win the you win the first team fight pretty decisively. You have an ultimate advantage that gets you the next fight. Now it's Shikigami's turn with the ultimate tempo to get back into this and mix it up. Team Z though still with four ultimates in the bank. I mean, I think this is very much potentially a winnable fight, but their position is noticeably weaker having to be out in the open on the car. Passive Genji dash, they're already backing. Great dagger pull onto the Genji. Not quite able to kill him though. Look at this lineup though from Xcal. Everybody walking into their sights. Not a Ooh. couple of shots going a little bit wide though, but Amadou losing the their lives the that early on. <laughs> Ryan getting out of there. You gotta run. You gotta run. They got checkpoint already. You can't give up too much extra space here or uh, extra death, sorry. But they're just going for it. Team Z knowing that they can get maybe even 80 Ooh. plus meters here. Sound barrier comes in just in the nick of time to kill Peace. Doesn't get too much value with the Dragon Blade, but still 70 meters from Team Z. And they're still going in. I expect using the ult. Or uh, Pink and Asura using the ult kills aspects. A duplication from Amadou, I mean, quickly dealt with. Team Z is just running away with this. Late sound barrier from Len, too. Plus, 80 meters more, like 100 plus here. Team Z, uh, they're ringing Shikigami out and laying them over the bath. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, Painkiller with the Junker Queen is dominating like with these dagger pulls. These are, these are huge openers. And onto the Echo, nonetheless. And over to the Cassidy, maybe a little bit of stability on the Cassidy, but. 
now it's gonna have a hard time against the Sojourn. So Jikigami struggling to find purchase here in the Queen matchup. Maybe they can get this ult to find value, but already the rush comes in. Aspect has to find something, and he finds four. Oh, man, that should be a team wipe. Okay. Yeah. Easy team wipe. All right, that's what you needed. I heard Zoe in my ear too going, what? I mean, I like a flannel, like rigging them out like a flannel and then laying them over the bath. You don't do that? I don't know okay. what you're talking about, but I'll flannel. Um, team Z, not a flannel? Team Z. It's just like a face cloth. It's a face cloth? Whatever. Whatever. They're not landing. Any Brits in the chat? They know what that is. <laughs> team Z, um, no ultimates in the bank, Shikigami. In theory here, doing it just uh, pulling this rush and winning this fight and hopefully getting near this checkpoint. Yeah, it could be decent for them, but always the opportunity with Soldier and Genji to find something. And there's uh, Aspect! He's just bursting what? down! Okay, Aspect just falls over. Uh, okay, well, about that rush and then winning the team fight. <laughs> well, we go again. It's okay, guys. We saved it for next. Yeah, but I agree with you, though, Jack. I think that was a time where they was a fight they needed to win, right? Get some progress back on the enemy side of the map, you know, start to bring the game a little bit closer to even start to, to equalize. Brian's going to go over to the Genji mirror, which I don't hate. I think in the Queen uh, mirror match on tank, Genji tends to be pretty strong with the ability to deflect and, and block that axe. However, could be hard to connect with Excal overclocking oh, yeah. the open. Excal overclock has to run away though, is that a rush was used in response. Shikigami still with the sound barrier, but not the point they wanted to use it on. They need this ultimate to then win the checkpoint. 20 meters to 110, and Team Zed more than happy just waiting up on top of this high ground saying, You come to us, we're chill. We're chill just burning four minutes now if you really want to AFK this long. I knew to push on this tail and a pull and a boop will result in a kill onto Painkiller. Looks like Team Z will still want to in this fight. In using the sound barrier. Maybe thinking the sound barrier was there to save Painkiller, but oh, well, there we go. Team Z not expending anything else. It's, a, it's still a rather scrappy one at the very least. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they expected that pull from Aspect. Connects on the enemy queen. She thought she could slip around the corner and hide from the high noon, but not with that dagger in her. So well done by Aspect, securing the high noon frag for Amadou. And now Shikigami started the progress on the other side of the map. They've got a long road ahead of them, and Team Z with a big bank of ultimates could stifle this in its tracks. But it's something. It's a start here on Renaissance. Sound barriers, they've got to be saved for these queen ult. Really, the only opportunity you're going to get to use them. Samari does end up coming in, but now you've got to worry, be worried about Painkiller. Nice little disengage from Team Zed. Oh, and it's a two man as well. Aspect of Ryan. There was just no chance for you there unless you use that B. And Noctis thinking, maybe we can win this fight off the back of my B. Everybody's going pretty low. We end up coming back in if someone's overextended. But it's just such an easy lineup there for Painkiller, and they're going to extend their lead, maybe even a couple extra meters here. Yeah, and you're getting to a dangerous part of the map where if you really, if you get the card through this choke point, things start to get pretty tough to come back. I mean, already you have a big lead, and now Peace with the blade, initiating straight yeah, to the back line, cutting them to no pieces. Way. Yeah, I mean, this might just be over here. A nice little double kill. Ryan ends up coming up with a nice little three, though, but look how far they've pushed. 130 meters. I mean, we've seen comebacks, but is this really going to be one? Not entirely sure, but with three minutes to go, Shikigami well and truly on the back foot. I think getting it through that little archway is actually such a big deal for Team Z, such a, a, a confidence builder, because you know on your side of the map, you could defend from through that choke point and, and have actually a really well set up team fight. So, Shikigami gonna have to, to find some mistakes out of Team Z, force some pickoffs. It's gonna need to be more than, than good clean overwatch. You're gonna have to mix it up and, and get dirty to win this one. Overclock better from Mexico, rips it at half HP, just instantly taken down by Amadou and a dash from Ryan. Blaze been pulled from Shikigami, but he's just watching his brothers just lay down before them. I mean, that's the saddest moment again you can be in there. Pulls the blade, tries to go for a kill, gets an assist, and then the rest of the team die around you. Nice double knife kill there from Painkiller as well. Another team kill. Uh, Jake, they're running away with this. There's two minutes to go, mate. <laughs> I mean, they came in on this no Soldier and Genji, and, and they just happened buried, right? Right? Like, they know this is the comp in the Queen Mirror. Shikigami have gotten the message. They've come to the mirror, but you've got to it's got to be comments when I'm like, oh, okay, you know you can't beat us. All you can do is copy us. Eh, well, maybe we're going to, you know, you feel pretty good about that. I think being in the spot of the match, although strategically even, of course, you know, you've got the, the confidence lead that you forced your will on the match. You had the right read. 
That was the rush. We'll see if Graveyard's use one, use theirs as well. They do indeed. Nice little deflection there from Peace, throwing a lot of that damage back in their faces, but Painkill has got the, got the ult, and uh, Noctis, 5% away from the sound barrier. He's going to need to survive this fight, but Ryan overextends. Still both this Queen and this Lucio doing this small little dance, and there nice it is. Forest. A nice little ultimate, and Noctis unable to even use the beats. No cleanse from Graveyard either, and another back-to-back -back team kill as Shikigami is slain where they stood. This team said, are they going to be able to get a couple of meters? I don't think so, but to be honest with you, Jake, they don't need to. Yeah, I mean, this is you're adding insult to injury at this point. I think the most important thing for teams is that you don't waste ults in a fight like this. But like every little inch does count, right? It does build up something that you might you might be able to use on defense. But also these players know, I mean, they know the score. They know what a huge advantage they have here. Now Shikigami with a mountain to climb ahead of them. We'll see how they approach the next team fight. Yeah, I mean, there's just AFK here on the sidelines, right? And here's Excal with a nice little sign up as well. Amadou ends up going down. Sambara comes in. Excal just shredding through that overhealth with this overclock. Ryan trying to run, but not, uh, not successfully getting out there with full HP and Aspect on the wrong side of the team fight. Good sound barrier from Len, denies the Queen ultimate as well. 20 seconds to go, a blade's been pulled, Peace comes to the back. He's gonna find one kill at the very least, maybe even a couple more. Double Ooh. blade, almost a triple. Amadou takes him down with oh, the rail gun. Full cap. But this is 135 meters and yet maybe even a full cap I think they too. get it, yeah, they're gonna get oh, it. Ryan, no. Not a chance. Go venture, Not stop a chance. A couple of seconds, and there's the boot. A full cap from Team Z to find match point as well. Unbelievable stuff. Kind of styling on uh, Shikigami there a little bit. It went the other way in their group matchup, uh, but this time Team Z downloading the script, running it, uh, running it all the way home with the Queen setup. Yeah, you know, in a back and forth series, to, to make a statement like that, right? To come out on, on a push map and get a complete full cap, finish the map, unnecessary. You know, it doesn't get you any more points, but it, it does certainly get in the head of your opponents. They're gonna be feeling the pressure. If that matchup comes up again and the queen, you know, we are going to New Drunk City. I think it's a, kind of a viable style. You have gotta be wondering, as Shikikami, like, can you take that mirror again with what just happened? Or do you, are you forced to just do something else just to not repeat what already happened to you on Runasabi? I don't know. Junker Queen. They end up running him with this again. I mean, uh, all my money is on Team Z, I think. I don't know, man. There were a lot they of uh, good, man. Peace on the Genji looked good. Like, you can't make this work everywhere. You know, it's not a 100% viable style, I think, across the, the game. But Junker Queen, Genji, Sojourn. If, you're, if your Soj is landing rails like Excal is absolutely throughout this game, and Peace is getting the cleanup on Genji, I mean, that's a fearsome, fearsome combo. There's so much aggression, so many opportunities to make plays and find picks. It's gonna be it's an overwhelming crazy to see base. Soj back in the meta as well. well not, not like fully, we're not seeing perma Soj or anything. But after the small HP nerfs, Soj has really found her place again. Extremely mobile, disruptive shot. You know, a little bit, a little bit damage. No, doesn't slow anymore. Um, but it's a good, uh, good way of forcing people out of cover as well. And I mean, the railgun's always going to be Oof. good if you can charge it up and consistently land them. You hit overclock as well. Like, it's a nasty character if you can get a some nice. Oh, this is this a, nice, a nice pull, nice right? Pull. Like, like I think yeah. with that without the queen pull, that's going to be zero value on high noon, right? So really well done by Aspect. This beat, unfortunately, I think necessary for Noctis. I mean, if he doesn't beat, they're just going to all die. So he beats, they lose the Queen all. At least they get, you know, maybe one more ult out of it. Not the end of the world. But yeah, I mean, just throughout this this map, I felt so many fights are just one. Like a Force Cleanse, instant ult, no forever in it. I mean, that was maybe yeah. the, this this was the backbreaking moment of the series here. Yeah, I mean, Noxus needed to beat that. That was the thing it was setting up for in that fight. But you're too low as the Lucio as well. So it's like... Am I in a position to sound barrier? But you saw where Noctis was, like near the uh, near the doorway up on like, okay, now I have to beat if I hit the tree and it like connects, great. But if it doesn't, uh, I'm probably just gonna Ajax. We just end up losing, uh, <laughs> losing the sound barrier. Well, match point for Team Z right now. New Junk City is the map up next. We're gonna jump to a quick break and um, we'll be right back with, yeah, more Overwatch. Yippee. All right, here it is. Shikigami versus Team Z after that. What, crazy like domination from uh, Team Z on Paraiso or Runasafi, sorry. A full cap, uh, not something you see every day. It's a pretty defendable spawn hold as well. Like, yeah, they just ran away with it. Uh, the Queen looked great. Excal as well on the Soj. Gonna go to New Junk City as our next one. Picked by Shikigami as well. Yeah, curious to see what Shikigami pulls out here. You know, like may maybe more conventional rush style 
something like a May and a Ramatra could be a stabilizing factor for them. Um, but honestly, it's tough to come back after a map like that, right? Full caps on push are so rare. Usually they only happen when it's just a super one-sided, very, very dominant map where, you know, if you're, if you're just only winning off ultimate advantage, you're not full capping. You're, you're, to, to full cap, you're winning off picks, you're winning off winning fights on the flank, you're winning the front line, you're winning everywhere, frankly, if you're gonna full cap. More queen, potentially? I mean, honestly, after that performance from Team Z, you're, you're so confident on the flip side of things, right? Yeah, uh, they have to be that doubling down, like, no question. Yeah, 100%. Shikigami, what have they got in response? Maybe a ram, actually. Let's get a quick Shikigami listening in that case. See what they got to say about this upcoming map. Is that right? Or, team, uh, right on the side. Yes, right on the side. Right left? Yeah, right, right. Yeah. We just walk out right. We just walk out right now. We said left. Yeah, no, we, we troll. We troll. It's fine. It's fine. Just come right. 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 I'm sitting late. Sarah. 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 Slowly, slowly, slowly. I'm capping, I'm capping, I'm capping. You guys can fight. Did you hear the flex? We're winning us out. We have to go in here. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, you left. What's your ending? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Nagaji, Nagaji. How about I'm gonna do? Nice. Let's get to that. Wow. Fuck up. They won't have any else out. He's real, he's real, he's real, he's real. How's real? I can't shoot up. I can't shoot up. No real, no real. Let's spam, back up, back up. Just shoot, just shoot. I'm gonna play slow on this. I'm gonna play slow on this. Armor do on the cast. That's what we needed right there. <laughs> just, uh, it's just a, you know, a clean little 4K to start the map off. I mean, comfort picks, it makes sense. You're right back against the wall in an elimination series. Bring out the comfort. The the cast tracer, I think, is probably Shigami's best look on the DPS. Oh, easily. All right, team Zed now with a pick onto Armadu. All right, they've got their number one top. Now the rush uh, needs to be used to try and find something in this fight for Shigami. Nice, uh, use the block there. Block, punch, block, punch, block, punch, block, punch. On the rush too. I mean, that's just a joke really, isn't it? Shikigami, uh, they're gonna capture this first point. I imagine Jake, I'm not sure Team Zed. Although they've got a couple of players alive here. Oh, not for long. Uh, as Len ends up falling over to the hands of Aspect. Yeah, Shikigami, you know, despite dropping one in that fight, they still stabilize, they still clean it up. And that's gonna be a chug point, a very dominant one, right? So Team Z are starting to maybe question themselves. They are gonna swap off the queen, take the ram mirror piece. I'd imagine maybe gonna drop the blade and then swap. And honestly, even the soldier, and I'm wondering, you know, I get in the ram mirror, maybe not the best. The hero doesn't really care so much about tanking those rails. A uh, small rotation here. Shikami making to the point first as well. Team Zed's changing up. So I'm throwing the queen down to the ramp. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> I don't think Aspect was supposed to jump down that little hole, but it might not cost him too much. Although he's saying that, he's playing it. in the front line right now. Blade's coming through from Peace in just a moment. Spots Aspect swapping to the form here, playing out of range slightly. Still takes a, a left hook to the face, though. Yeah, she can come in strong position on the point. Team Z gonna rush, try and flip this. Yes, uh, ultimate here from Excal as well. Might just want to rip that one. A lot of uh, people just kind of cowering for cover at this moment in time. Although Amadou uses that at high noon, has to quickly cancel it, however, but use that sound barrier to push them forwards onto the point itself. Aspects popping the ult, and with a cat from Shikigami too, they don't need to play this quickly. Peace, theoretically uncontested blade here, but it's scary. Cassidy Tracer always can shut down that, that Genji. See if Peace can find a connection in this fight. It's gonna need to, Dash. teammates are dropping low. Yeah, Blades end up coming out as well. Look for the Tracer, instantly hitting the recall though is Ryan, as Peace just carrying for cover. 80 HP, can't really do all too much. Just a little bit of deflection damage, but it just goes straight back into the shield. Even spots to Lucio too. All of Shikigami just kind of playing on the knife's edge right now of their lives as uh, they just continue to hold this point. I mean, Team Z, they got ultimates coming up, Jake, but Painkiller is so low. Same with Peace. Peace is 1 HP somewhere. That's such a tenuous fight. Team Z stabilizing though with the rush, gonna charge back into this, this capture point. Yeah, straight onto the point there, but it's just a fight, like extended fight after extended fight. Shikigami eventually getting slain, but that was a fight from like first cap to 99%. Yeah, seriously, so back and forth, so competitive. Both teams getting multiple cycles of all their ultimates off. And now Shikigami on the retake, we'll see what they can do in the defender position here. 
14 Z, see if this Sojourn maybe has a little bit more purchase. But once again, High Noon is a big threat and you don't really have an obvious answer as Team Z to getting zoned off the point like that. Just more rotation here. From Shikigami trying to go up with this high ground. High Noon to start us off with. We've already traded Noctish for peace. Can they actually get the damage onto the ram? No, they cannot. Even if they tried, it would have been blocked anyway. They can still use this Annihilation, trying to kill Amadou. They do end up getting that kill, but at Team Z, they are trading. Sound Barrier used from Team Z to try and keep themselves in this fight, but Shikigami has still got two support ultimates of their own to extend this one if they need it, but I don't think they do. Slowly but surely picking apart Team Z as they're going to find that cap. near 99% again, but not to be a recall from Peace to try and get another touch, but there's the cap. Yeah, Shikigami really have the download here on New Junk City. They look a lot more stable here in the Ram comp, a little bit more a team play emphasis, less reliance on like individual playmaking factor. Ryan on the Tracer has, has really been able to, to slow down the game in, in a very effective way for the team, right? Like in these like little poking engagements, both teams dropping low. Shikigami look comfortable, right? Especially I think the Tracer does give them the edge here. Peace is going to swap over the May, so right, trying to maybe cut up these team fights with a with a well placed wall. But on the retake, it's easier said than done, and this is a very open point to bring out the May swap on. Gonna be running into this rush as well. I mean, double support ultimate save from Shikigami is just absolutely beautiful to see. Already knocked, just using that sound barrier, trying to save aspect. Annihilation in the front line eventually wears off as uh, everybody was hiding behind that shield from Painkiller. Here comes the rush now, just slowly but surely. Sikigami are just whittling down at Team Zed. Not many, to, not too many resources left, although with Graveyard going down, it's not a good look. They need trades and they need them fast. Aspect falling too means there's a lot less front line Shikigami to hide behind. Looks like uh, Ryan's just trying to settle the score in the back line, but quickly dealt with by Len. As our team said, finally win a fight there. Just the more ultimate advantage from Shikigami. Yeah, I think Excal saved that team fight, finding the pickoff onto Graveyard, stifling the support. And for the first time, it feels like in New Junk City, teams you actually have solid team fight win in control early on the point. Nonetheless, though, it's a long road back if they want to sweep, reverse sweep on Junker Town uh, and stabilize this game. And this time, it's going to be Amadou uh, and Ryan with DPS ultimates to open the fight. They only get their one. That one team fight went through there at this point. Oh, there's the overclock. Connects with the head of Painkiller. Amadou going pretty low. Mega health back there. there. But no, just relying on the Lucio heals. More than happy to play in the front line right now. Blizzard is going to lock down Aspect. An easy kill to be picked off. But what? Wait, Amadou just kills two. And Ryan with a third. Wait, Shikigami just going to run away with this fight. Team Zed. Oh, we're after a fantastic start. It just all fell apart. These Both these soldiers over the last couple of maps just been lights out. 80% and a little bit there for Team Z. Shikigami now in control. Just going to be most likely just one fight to retake and win for Team Z if they can do it. However, it could be tough, right? Shikigami, now they have the opportunity to spread out. You got to re-push in through that Disruptor shot, through the, the, the Ravenous Vortex from Ramatra. We've got big ultimates to work with, right? Double support ultimate, as well the Annihilation from Painkiller. This should be an easy fight for Team Z, but so far Shikigami have been really threatening on New Junk City. Nice track around there from Team Z. Excalo as well, uh, taking a little off angle. End up pulling the rush and get a free point flip there. No way Shikigami wants to fight on that at such a disadvantage. And Graveyard ends up going down first yet again. This to the hands, uh, this time at the hands of Painkiller. Should be the point cap here as well. Absolutely no chance for Shikigami to come back into this one. There it is. Soon as they clean up these skills. There we go. All right, Shikigami with ults to spare, but Graveyard once again succumbing to an early death with the nail in the coffin. It's just one point on New Junk City, but it's the start of something, right? And and since you've made this comp swap, you have looked a lot more stable. Now Ryan gonna make the swap to the venture, maybe try and get on the back line a little bit more aggressively, try and pressure that sojourn. But Peace has been doing a lot on the May, right? The, the May swap has looked solid and yes, you have you have Ant Matrix, but you've gotta be so quick getting a kill with Ant Matrix before it gets walled off or the enemy speed boosts away. And on the same on the flip side, Excal with this overclock, he's gonna have all the freedom in the world to maneuver. Look at that May while stifling the Matrix. Yeah, this angle too is kind of nasty. Oh! <laughs> Didn't expect that one though. It was nasty until it wasn't. All right, Ryan on the venture now. Receives that sound barrier just in the nick of time. Gonna take down this May. At least force some uh, CDs out. This annihilation is going to be a nightmare for Graveyard to deal with. You saw him jumping up at the high ground trying to get away, but still that tickling damage ends up finishing off the bat. 
And Team Z, they found their footing here, Jake, in this map eventually as they find that cap. Great annihilation from Painkiller, right? The aggression comes on to him and he's able to keep that ultimate online for so long. Oh, and then they want from Peace, <laughs> catches out Amadou. So cool. Amazing, amazing plays. Exile over to the Tracer as well. So there's no reason not to chase maybe for Team Z. Maybe it'll be a bridge too far. Coming around this next corner, you see Ryan is, you know, waiting for an overextension there. So wise from Team Z to not push their luck, not throw away this point control that they have that is so valuable here. See if Peace can find it again with this Blizzard, but maybe he won't have to. It could just be Hanbei's rush that is just too much. Maybe Aspect with the Annihilation can salvage it, but potentially a tough fight for Shikigami. It's gonna be so hard, especially pushing onto this high ground too. They forced the block early from uh, Peace there. As Abadu uses this uh, overclock, there's a lot of targets to shoot at. But unfortunately, the rest of his team is getting whittled down as Ryan ends up falling first. 75%, so it's in the back of their minds right now that they're going to have to touch at some points. Eventually, Peace is ending up dealt with, still holding on to the Blizzard as Aspect and Painkiller in a little 1v1 on the high ground. Looks like Shikigami are going to get the touch, so at least they trigger OT, but the fight hasn't exactly been decisive as of yet. Both Nemesis forms have been popped as well, and Excal looking to build up towards this Pulse Bomb just to end someone's life in a snap. It's actually Armadue that ends up going down first here as a rush has been pulled, although this point is going to be rather Dicey now for Excal to even play around. So it looks like Team Z just giving this one up to Shikigami, at least for the time being. Yeah, Team Z need to back out, though. They need to just, like, disengage and stay alive. I mean, Shikigami aren't really strong enough to force anything, though. So it seems like both teams going to take the reset here. But the great fighting from Team Z did force out the Kitsune Rush. Such a valuable tool here on uh, uh, Flashpoint, able to just fight on the objective, get the point flip. We'll see if Peace can find the Blizzard. I mean, I think this is an exceptionally difficult comp to find your Blizzard into. I mean, with both supports being so effective against Mei, I, I don't hate the idea of just fighting well, but you know, you're absolutely right, Jack. We do need to see a Blizzard at some point in this fight. Uh oh. Ryan's gonna make staying on this high ground a bit more of a pain. Not getting too much done, although it does end up forcing Team Z back. And there comes the sound barrier from Shikigami. They've got a lot of support, old bits to use, but, well, not a lot, actually, not anymore, I suppose. I uh, thought Graveyard had his up, but no, it's actually Team Z that got a lot more than they do. Even with this rush, too, looks like Team Z are going to be able to run away with this one. Still also holding on to the Blizzard. Ready to use two ults, still got more in the tank. No one from Shikigami as well touching. As uh, Team Z ends up winning that point, a reverse sweep. On the cards now on New Junk City. Maybe you don't need the Blizzard, just, just keep fighting. Uh, great job by as well by Team Z, the supports, right? We saw uh, Ryan chasing them down with Tectonic Shock, and they both just barely slip over the edge, drop to the low ground, just as that last shot of Tectonic Shock is chasing them down. So great kiting from the supports, staying alive to the ultimates and stabilizing the team fight. So Hanbei and Len looking good here as we head into what could be the final map uh, of the, or the final point of the series here. Team Z potentially getting a reverse sweep here on Flashpoints as they swap to the main comp. Both Ryan, he's chilling, he's vibing. Here comes Blizzard, Pulse Bomb 2, the throw behind that wall from Excal. Point capped by Team Z, they're just gonna run away with this fight as well. Painkiller, or looking like Mike Tyson out there with the amount of punches he's throwing. Dog just Ryan Aspect dead, Team Z find a team kill. Nemesis form on the rush is, is actually it's an illegal gross. Pop, though. It's, it's When you're cleaving multiple enemies, it is, it is some illicit damage. Unacceptable. And now retaking with the Blizzard, I want to see Team Z hold aggressive here at the choke point, like force this rush out very, very early and then fall back. If it's if Shikigami get the rush on the objective, I think they're going to be pretty happy with the situation. Yeah, decent rush positioning as well. It's a really nice point to actually use it on. It's hard to kind of juggle this point as well. There's a very little cover. Oh, Armadou goes down. Okay, what's the decision here? It looks like they're actually just going to try and fight this fight. They end up using the rush on the point. They've still got the Annihilation as well. Aspect trying to deal with this <laughs> Mayhide block. Just punching the block. The block doesn't break, man. Okay, both Nemesis forms uh, and Annihilations have been used on the point. Peace and Harm, they end up going down. As uh, Team Z eventually cleaned off here by the looks of it. Shikigami now just having to deal with Excal. Nice oh, getting yeah. the 99. Nice getting yeah. to 99 as well. Big stuff. How long has Peace had this Blizzard? We need to go back and check. We need to I check. Think it's at <laughs> least like what, he's trying, three, he, two it, minutes, three minutes. <laughs> what if he just holds it for the whole game just to troll us? That would go crazy. That would that would go down in history. I think they're gonna find some option. Now you've got at least a Cassidy. Maybe you could you know throw that Blizzard at his feet. But honestly, Shikigami found themselves in a weird spot. Normally their hit scan player is on Tracer, and their normal Tracer player is on hit scan. We'll see if they can make it work here. They have to. No opportunity to swap back now. 
Yeah, absolutely zero. High noon available too from Ryan in a couple of moments. Not before he almost dies though. Uh, nice sound barrier just in time. There's the Blizzard. Peace used it. Didn't get a single freeze either. Sad stuff, honestly, and actually pays for it with his life. Pulse on from Excal just peppering down the back line right now. I'm gonna do uh, an in returns to his own there. Just try and get the tracer off his. Nice double kill there. Is there. Oh, I'm going to do <laughs> send Karini off the edge. Uh, Shikigami going to run away with this one. A nice Pulse Bomb connection onto Ryan. And that just might be map number five. Ooh. Jake, although Aspect staying alive, quickly brought down by Painkiller. Team Z just finally finding a fight win at the very end. And there it is. A GG's all around as Team Z end up closing out the series. A scrappy final affair. And hey, I'm going to call it. It was Pieces Blizzard. That's what made that's, that's what, they, what that, made the big play. It sealed the deal. It was one of the biggest blizzards we've ever <laughs> seen. It was just fantastic. The impact fell from the main. But it was, I mean, it was impressively fought on the main. Maybe the blizzard's not effective really in that comp with Lucio and Kiri being able to pull you out of trouble if things go wrong. You get close to getting frozen. But the May itself was, was providing impact, right? Even putting the block down, and I think when he was punching the block, it was because Hanbei was like juking him on the ice block, staying behind, and, and the Ram's like, what the hell, I want to get through that. I want to get this pesky Kiriko, and she's just crouching behind May. <laughs> Listen, if you can use the environment to your advantage like that, you deserve a dub. That's how it goes. Uh, honestly, this was a much more competitive series than I think some people might have even expected, given the previous time those two teams have been facing off against. I generally, generally did not expect Team Z to be the one coming up, uh, coming out on top of it. Uh, I, I have my jelly beans bet on Shikigami, although I do not bet and I do not possess jelly beans, but I would have lost it. This is so sad. I would have, I would have lost it. <laughs> Someone get Zoe some jelly beans. Someone get some candy. I don't think I will like jelly beans. I don't, yeah. It, that's uh -huh. just so you try it, all right? All right. This is you sugar, isn't jelly it? beans? No, why would I? Oh, come on now. What? You gotta so try a jelly no bean. No way. You I'm gonna kidding? get you those ones. They make ones that like have bad flavors. I'll get you a pack. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> so my first introduction to jelly beans yeah, should be something that tastes potentially it, like bro. vomit. <laughs> yeah, what? Really selling it, really selling it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, speaking of selling it, though, uh, I mean, both of the teams run pretty much the same thing uh, we've seen from them before. And it was the same individuals, which showed us moments of brilliance and absolute domination. Ryan, of course, uh, unsurprisingly, once again, absolutely popping off. I'm personally a big fan of Peace now, though. I didn't have Peace mm. on my radar heading into this. Yeah, Peace Owens look great on the Genji in particular, on Runasapi, Excal. I, I feel that, you know, DPS-wise, this was a really great match for Team Z, where they were consistently on their comfort picks, playing, like, I think they were dictating the tempo of the swaps, where a few times in the series, I'm seeing, like, okay, we saw some roll swaps from Amadou and Ryan on Li Zhang Tower, which they did end up winning. But then, you know, at the end of New Junk City, we find ourselves with, like, Ryan's on Cassidy and Amadou's on Tracer, and, you know, things are just getting a little wonky, so... I think Shikigami were just feeling the pressure in this series, and that's because Team Z played really well. They applied that pressure in spades throughout the entire series. I mean, here on Rudasapi was really the pinnacle of that aggression. I was also just very impressed with uh, how quickly the turnaround was for Team uh, Z there, not just with swaps like hero-wise, but also just gameplay-wise. I felt like there were quite a few moments on, um, what was that, like ages ago, uh, Lee Jung Tower, was it? A lot of little mistakes which got punished really quickly by Shikigami in round three particularly. Mm. Um, they cleaned that up really nicely. Like all the miscommunication or the lack of coordination in some regards were cleaned up the map to follow. Yeah, yeah. the Excal also had a, like, a fantastic game on the Sojin. Like, un I, I, it's cool to see Sojin back in the meta too. I think this team has got a, a lot to prove, and I think continuing this as well, oh, there are WCS chances there. Well, you know, they're going up. I mean, Shikigami have been a known quantity for a little while. I think Team Z, you know, they've been around. It's something we talked about at the very top of the game. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see Team Z. It's like back-to-back -back wins against Shikigami. You're feeling pretty good. Lower bracket run uh, in session. And you, right. you've even played uh, Citrus close, and a team that throws all this chaotic yeah. stuff at you. You still want, want some maps in that series, still show that you can be a threat against, you know, these crazy comps. Absolutely. They're putting themselves on the map with this victory. And one player in particular that stood out to our production apparently is Painkiller. Yeah, I mean, well the, the Ram the at the very end, claim up super clutch, to be fair. Like, denying that final point, denying that map number five. I mean, look, there's nothing more sweet. There's nothing sweeter than getting reverse sweep on New Junk City, I'm going to be honest with you, or in any push map. 
And uh, yeah, what a, what a fantastic uh, Primal Rage 2 from Plainkiller. Like this this play here, Jay, you, you brought it up a couple of times, but like holding the supports in the spawn like that uh, is Selfie. just monstrous. And I mean, on the Queen Mirror, we felt the difference. On the Ram Mirror, you know, maybe that was the most competitive, but on Winston King's Row, I mean, to have this performance across so many tanks in the series, this is a great sign for Team Z in terms of the roster, right? Like to have a tank that looks good on every tank. Like, you know, a lot of times you look at a player like, oh, well, this guy, you know, prefers the old Overwatch 1 main tanks or prefers the old off tanks. This next generation of players, they're not limited in that way. You know, there, there are a lot of players like this who look solid across whatever heroes they come out on and across whatever strategy their team plays. They've got, you know, a, a stable base of skill on all those different tanks.